Okay. All right. <sighs> now this is the pose. In today's video, we're going to talk about setting up your weight system on side mount harness. Vamanos. She's not as excited about this as I am. Oh, uh, 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 maybe belly scratches. Woo, that lens is dirty. That looks better. The systems I'll cover in this video are weight plates, adding weight directly to the harness via zip tie, bungee, or threading onto the webbing, adding hard weight on additional webbing, like the T-weight system for the razor, and adding weight pockets, which will allow for both hard and soft weight use. But first, some details about weighting and positioning. Oh God. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've done a side mount video and I have been in desperate need of setting up my own weight system. So I'm going to talk you guys through my process and some options that you have on different side mount harnesses. Welcome to Asul Unlimited where we teach all things scuba diving. My name is Sarah and we're going into side mount solutions. Yay! You all probably know by now that side mount is my preferred diving configuration. I really only go single tank back mount when I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> so I'm going to break down different kinds of weight systems that you can see. If this is the first time that you're hearing about side mount, please go check out my playlist and find out why it's such a great system. So the first thing you have to figure out with your weight system on side mount is how much weight you're actually going to need. In this video, I'm not going to explain how to figure out how much weight you need because there's a lot of different factors, the kind of exposure suit that you are wearing, as well as the type of tanks you're diving with. But you need to always make sure that you have enough weight to finish your dive. Once you figure out how much weight you need to put on the harness, something that you want to consider is how much ditchable weight you want to incorporate on your harness. In regular recreational diving, we have ditchable weights, right? We have our weight pockets or we have a weight belt. Diving in side mount, we tend to not have that as easily accessible. We set up the weight system so that it's integrated into the harness. And so really the only way to get rid of the weight is to get rid of your tanks, which are your lifeline, and that's not really smart. So there are actually systems that you can put into place that allow you to ditch weight without getting rid of part of your essential equipment. That means in your setup, you need to figure out how much you need to be able to ditch and get the buoyancy that you desire. Of course, this is going to depend heavily on what type of diving you're doing, but you'll want to calculate that. If you're just doing a recreational dive, then you want to be able to be buoyant at the surface if you drop your weight. Next thing to consider is your trim. In side mount, we really want to get that nice horizontal trim. So in setting up your weights, you want to have that in mind. You may already have a good idea of how your body is and where you need weight in order to get that horizontal trim, and that knowledge will come in handy in setting up the harness. If you don't have any idea, then a pool session with an instructor and your side mount harness is super helpful for this. Now, a couple of the places where we can put weights, we have, right now you can just excuse the incredibly, um, oh gosh, what do I wanna call this? <laughs> um, not permanent. <laughs> set up for my weights but basically I just want to show you that you can have your weights all along your spine. Here we have weight up at the top of the spine so that would help balance the shoulders from being elevated right so that helps get the shoulders down the head down so that you could be in line. You have this whole back spine here 
have this right above the low back plate. Okay, that's the plate that goes right over your like sacrum basically. Um, so you can have weight right along there. That will help with the raising booty. You can also have weight along the waist, which you can see here. Um, I actually do have one little weight here and that is because my body is very weird. This is a whole thing and I, I figured it out uh, during my side mount course many, many years ago that I have a heavy right side. I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I always tilt to the right. So I have to constantly counter that with a little bit of weight on the left side. <laughs> There's probably a doctor that could explain it, but I just accept it and move on. Other places that we can put our weight system, we can place weight along here on the shoulder. This is probably the easiest place to put weights that would be ditchable. You can see here that I do not have ditchable weight integrated into my system. It's not because I don't want to, it's mostly because I've really been piecemealing my equipment together and I just haven't gotten there yet. So those are the spots that you can put weight onto your harness. I've also seen people put weight directly on their tanks. I don't really like that solution because specifically when you're in an environment where entanglement could occur, the last thing you want is to have things on the outsides, right? That's why side mount harnesses like this, the Razor, we have, oh boy, this is loud. We have this whole setup so that the bat wing goes around absolutely everything, right? And so there's nothing that really hangs out. Like we have this tube, but this is tucked in close to the chest. There's nothing that can really catch on anything. And so putting a band with a weight on the outside of the tank, it just, I don't think it's a great solution. Just not something that I teach people or that I recommend. There are a few different ways that we can attach weight onto the harness. I don't know if you've had a chance to use these side mount weight plates, but these will change everything. They are the best weight system that I have seen. I absolutely love these. I'm buying them like they're in the mail. <laughs> I need these. <laughs> My cave diving friend, John, the scuba panda, showed me the ropes. These weight plates were created by Dive the Cave, and these are now actually sold by Excess Scuba all over the place. I linked these and the other weight solutions in the description below so you can check those out. The weight plate wraps around your harness webbing and hard weight. They're super secure, but also allow you to move around to adjust for trim. They're really easy to remove for travel, so this really just ticks all the boxes. Once I get these, I'm not going back to any other weight system. Oh my god! And you That's amazing! <laughs> Another option to add weight is to use bungees or zip ties. Zip ties are our friends as scuba divers and um, you can just literally zip tie everything to your harness. It's really not ideal but in a pinch you can make it work. And the most challenging, annoying, and most permanent way to add weight is by threading it directly onto your harness webbing. Obviously those would not be ditchable weights. That is a solution if you know that you're not going to travel anywhere with your harness, that it's just going to live in your home and you're always going to do your local diving with it. But that's not such a great solution if you are going to be taking it onto a plane and, you know, dealing with bag weight issues. So that's just something to consider. Another option that you have is to actually have a weight webbing and that's something that some harnesses come with that you can attach to the hardware and it acts basically pretends that this is not a part of the harness, right? It would just be an extra piece of webbing that I can put my weight on and then integrate into the system. I could attach it to my hardware here and tuck it in. Use some Velcro to attach it onto the actual spine, etc. Another option is to add weight pockets. And that's really great because you could use some 
soft weight. Oh my God, there's so much hair on this. Look at this. Look at my van is the hairiest. That's disgusting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> between Abby and myself, like this, I mean, this is still covered in Abby hair. I can't, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so when you use the weight pockets, that's really nice because you can use these soft weights. And like I said before, when you use those, if they're easily accessible, right? They're not along your spine. They can also act as ditchable weights. Yeah. Okay. That's about it from me. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big ol' thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content. I am going to finally set this up and fit it correctly because it's been a little bit too small with my semi-dry suit. And so I'm finally gonna do it. Wish me luck. See you next time.